Hey guys, in a video I covered a little while back regarding why Obi-Wan didn't remember R2, this video will cover whether R2 remembered that Darth Vader is indeed Anakin, and why he didn't just tell Luke. It may be a little confusing to some, seeing as how R2 was literally with Anakin when he slaughtered the Separatists on Mustafar, as well as watching him choke Padme, then engage in the fight of his life against Obi-Wan. Now, while I'm unsure if Disney will ever touch on this subject, what I can provide is all that we've been presented with before the corporate takeover. In Legends, undoubtedly, yes, R2 definitely knew that Vader was Anakin. Now, many could argue, including myself, why he didn't just tell Luke, especially when he's sitting in Obi-Wan's home with 3PO and we hear Ben speak of Anakin having been killed by Darth Vader. This answer can actually be found in The Swarm War, the concluding book from the Dark Nest trilogy, which was actually a pretty interesting trilogy in itself, however, it was a little weird at times. Anyways, that's completely historic Legends of Material now. So here it is. The reason he didn't tell Luke during the three films is because he was protecting him. You see, R2 had an owner's protection protocol system, and what this was, was that it prevented him from saying or doing anything to hurt his master. This very well included telling Luke that his father murdered his mother and sliced up a school of children, later turning into the cyborg Darth Vader who now ruled the galaxy with an old man that he called his master. I know, you couldn't get more plot armory than that, but hey, George Lucas will write it the way he wants. What do you think would have happened if R2 didn't have this system? What if Luke had found out? For example, if R2 just beeped it out when he heard Obi-Wan lying to Luke, or rather telling his from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? I think he'd probably try to track down Vader and speak with him, causing him to possibly turn to the dark side as this is before he met Leia, Han, and Chewie, making him much more solo and likely to be swayed by his father. Hmm, it's an interesting idea. Maybe it would be good for fanfiction. So you know those comics I bring to life? I'm actually having them animated by a professional, and the demo reel looks, well, amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys. Updates on that are coming very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit like and support the channel, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you. Always. <laughs>